What is going on guys and um, welcome to week 3 of season 1. This week we are facing against Ashley, um, the homegirl, homegirl Aspirin. And uh, I'm going to tell you guys I'm nervous about this one. This is not going to be any easy feat. Um, I had to rush my team a little bit as far as EV spreads go, but I think I, I picked the right mons this time and uh, enough moves to cover most of her um, roster. I'm unsure of what six she's going to bring, but um, I cover a good eight or ten of them with what, I ha what I'm bringing this week. So, yeah, here's our total so far in the season as um if you saw week two against Aldo you saw Clefable put in so much work and um yeah Clefable's MVP so far and we will see if um how that goes rest of season right and Seismato too good shout out big shout out to him um he made his debut started off getting stealth rocks up I believe two or three times and um Getting two KOs without getting knocked out, so that was a good bring. Um, I am quickly going to show you guys what six, um, if I go to the right page, yeah. What six I think Ashley will bring against me, and what six I'm going to bring to counter it. Well, first off, her team on the left um, is Celesteela. Tapu Lele, Hydreigon, Mega Aerodactyl, Zygarde 10%, um, Frostlass, Metagross, Alolan Persian, Moltres, Tentacruel, Whimsicott, and Espeon. And you know my guys on the right. Some of them still have not seen playing time, but yeah, we'll s just give it time. We still have a few more weeks to go in Season 1, so... Anyways, guys, my best guess, because I could only guess, right? Um, I'm guessing she is bringing this six. And you can see on the right, I'm bringing Heatran, Landorus T, Tapu Fini is coming back, uh, Kieran Black's coming back, we have Gyarados, and we have the mascot, we have our boy, the crooked boy, the corrupt boy, um, Crocodile on the bottom, guys. I've been waiting to bring it, and um, I think uh, this week is a good time to. And um, yes, so my, I'm very very concerned about her team. Her team overall, her roster is well put, um, well assembled, and she has some scary weapons. I, I don't want the Celestila to live too long. Um, you know, Mer Mega Aerodactyl is really fast and it hits hard. Um, Tapu Lele. She likes running it choice specs, but... Um, yeah, that's scary, dude. That is scary. I'd rather see Scarf instead of Specs Lele. But who knows? Um, Hydreigon? Um, it could run Scarf or Specs. So we need to keep our eye out for that. And, um... Yeah, I think it's going to be a slugfest. I don't really have too much of a game plan, to be honest. I just know that um, I'm going to have to use Landorus. I'm using a Choice Scarf, and I'm using it as a pivot, uh, offensive pivot. Just to get chip, uh, valuable chip damage on the Tapu Lele, we will hit that the Hydreigon 53% minimum. So that U-turn is always a two-hit KO on Hydreigon. And, um, yeah, we could U-turn in front of the Frostlass. So, yeah. Let me show you guys really quick. Oh, also, one more point I wanted to make. Heatran. Heatran, normally I run it defensive, right? In the first two weeks, I run it very defensive. This time it's an uh, offensive one. Um, we need it. We need, as a manager, as the team manager, I need to make sure Heatran lives. And it is my main answer for Mons like um, uh, Lele. It is my best answer by far for Lele. My best answer by far for Celesteela. And um, as I will explain in a moment, it's going to be my team's best answer for Mega Aerodactyl. It, 
if you know Aerodactyl, you must be saying, what the hell? But um, I will explain that in a few minutes, guys. So um, we are going to go to Showdown. I'm going to show you very quickly this time what I'm bringing specifically. So um, you'll see most of my EV spreads, just basic, basic 252, 252. So like I said, there is no problem doing that. And I, I, I rushed the team, but... I believe it, it, it will work out. I believe it can work out. Ashley's a tough, tough trainer, and um, I'm, I'm gonna have to be careful. I'm gonna have to be in the right mindset tomorrow when we battle. So uh, we're doing Jolly, we're doing Choice Scarf, and we're doing um, Max Speed, 252 Speed, right? I wanted. Going 252 on attack would be helpful, but I want some bulk. I want some bulk so I could possibly switch in and get an Intimidate on something. Maybe Zygarde, 10%. And we have Earthquake, Rock Slide. Rock Slide does a lot to Mega Aer Aerodactyl as well. Um, U-Turn, of course, is going to be valuable against Hydreigon, Tapu Lele. And uh, Defog. Because Frostlass, I think she's going to bring Frostlass because it is a good um, hazard setter and a suicide lead. So, um, in case she spams of spikes or, or stealth rocks somehow, I, I, I have Defog to take those away. Next, we have Heatran. This time, well, yeah, we're running Modest. And max um, special attack EVs. And a little bulk. We're not going fast at all. I, I don't see much of a reason to. But we want bulk right here. I have Shooka Berry. So that explains my what I'm thinking about Mary, Mega Aerodactyl. We could come in. We could take Earthquake, right? We'll live because of the berry. And we Oko back with Flash Cannon. That is exactly why I need to go modest 252 special attack to um, guaranteed Oko. Um, we have Lava Plume, going to be for Celesteela. Flash Cannon does a lot, a lot of damage. I don't think it Oko's Tapu Lele, but it comes pretty damn close to it. Um, Earth Power, in case she brings Metagross, I believe. And, um... And then stealth, stealth Rock. Why not? Next up, we have Gyarados. Funny, we brought him every game, every game this season so far, and it it's done nothing. It hasn't died. It hasn't died either, but it hasn't. We have not pulled it off yet, guys. So this time we're going max max speed. Jolly two five two speed two five two attack. Um, I see MZ with Moxie ability, meaning Moxie meaning um, if I get a KO of Gyarados, my attack goes up. So, hopefully, yeah, this is a good way to. I like Gyarados for mid to late game. Let's say I take rid of, um, get rid of Gyarados's main enemies, main threats. You could come up with the Gyarados set up once, uh, Dragon Dance, and. Um, that Moxie, if you could get those KOs, especially with a Z move, right? Uh, um, it's a snowball effect. You could because you're only getting stronger each KO, and it's going to be harder for your opponent to stop that. Hopefully, I could display it. Hopefully, I could display it eventually, right, guys? But we have Waterfall, we have Ice Fang to team up with the. Um, you need it for the Ice Z Crystal. We have Substitute. And Dragon Dance, so pretty, pretty standard um, move set. We have Tapu Lele, um, Tapu Fanny, my uh, excuse me, Tapu Fanny coming back this week. We have leftovers, and we are just here to just bulky bulkiness, right? We max Bedef, max special defense, as you can see, two five two on the special defense. This way, um. 252 on the special defense. We have Calm Nature boosting our special def defense even more. And we have 252 on the HP. 
one of those basic spreads, right guys? I tell you about it, 252, 252. Nothing wrong with it at all, okay? Uh, Moonblast. Moonblast, mainly for, I believe, Hydreigon and just casual damage, casual stab. Um, same type attack bonus. Nature's Madness. Another fairy move, but this one, is, um, if it hits, you cut your opponent, the target's HP in half by 50%. So we could even hit something that resists fairy, and it, it's still going to be 50%. So on a um, switch in the Celesteela, hopefully. We have another defog in case, just for spikes or whatever my opponent. She is a smart trainer, so she she might set up spikes and stuff. Um, and taunt, taunt. I'm um, faster than Celesteela. I could stop um, that mon from setting up substitute. I could stop Leech Seed. I could stop uh, a possible Autotomize. So um, yeah. Now for the debut of the season, right here, and most likely my lead. Guys, most likely my lead right here. We have a Focus Sash Crocodile named Corrupt. <laughs> um, it's Jolly Max Speed. Jolly with the 252 Speed EVs. 252 in attack because we want to hit things hard. We really want to uh, hit things like Metagross. Oh, Metagross, Tapu Lele too. And yeah. So we have Earthquake, our stab move. We have Knockoff. Hopefully. You know what? I, I, I think I'm yet to click Knockoff so far this season. But yeah. It's going to help. Uh, let's say I get something on Switch in. Maybe Tapu Lele is coming in on the Switch in. And it's Choice Specs. Oh, that would be so worth it. Best case scenario, right guys? Um, we have Pursuit. I could... Pursuit trap something. Look it up. <laughs> and um, Stealth Rock. So. And oh yeah. One more mod. I'm sorry Isaiah. Isaiah the Karam Black. Just casual. This is pretty much the same guy I brought on week one. Against Wolf. Life Orb. Life Orb. Timid. So we go fast maybe we could get a cheeky uh outspeed on tapu lele or hydreigon we have um possibly i don't have as you guys could see i didn't put speed evs um, i actually wanted some bulk just so we could possibly possibly live something right live a super effective hit if i'm lucky i should have done calcs to be honest and see what like a, a unboosted Tapu Lele Moonblast does to me. Maybe I survive it. Maybe I survive it. I don't know, but I figured instead of putting in a speed, uh, I put in a little bit of bulk. You know, maybe I could. It will help me come in on a um, Stealth Rock for whatever reason. Um. So, two five two HP, two five two special attack, and four speed. Yeah. And we're rocking the Ice Beam. Fusion Bolt, which, um, yeah, Fusion Bolt, I guess if Tentacruel or someone <laughs> comes in, because I told you, I, I picked the moves that would cover most of the roster, my guess for her six, it could be incorrect, and, um, I think the tools I'm bringing will cover that mistake, those mistakes, so, that's why we have Fusion Bolt. We might have Tentacruel coming in. So, um, and Earth Power and Roost. So, that is, that is my squad, you guys. I rushed it. Probably should have focused more, but it's been a rough week for me. But the game plan here, um, going 3-0 sounds a lot better than going 2-1. So, yeah. We plan to battle up Ashley sometime tomorrow evening, possibly around 10.30 p.m. So, yeah, dude, I'm going to try my best. You know, I, uh, 
I know how to battle. She knows how to battle well. She plays very well in B doubles, VGC doubles, but um, in singles, like, I don't know how she plays in singles, but if you know Pokemon, you know Pokemon. So, and that's really all I have to say about that. Mm, keep our fingers crossed and I better come ready to play tomorrow. I don't want to lose, so. <laughs> Alright. Catch you guys tomorrow for the battle. Peace. Yo, what is going on, guys? We're about to battle me versus Ashley Aspirin. And uh, quick shout out to everyone rolling to Anaheim Regionals. Just in two days, I'm not ready for it, but in two days, we're going to be battling VGC. So, in our age group, the Masters, we have at least 120 competitors going. So, dude. <laughs> Anyways, quick shout out to everyone I know who is going. Uh, George Paz, uh, Aspirin, right here. Um, Devin Powers, my boy, uh, Kenzo, and any other hooligans who might be going. And anyone watching this and going to Anaheim, please click like and uh, best of luck to you. May you might even match up against me and if you're fortunate. So. <laughs> Anyways, okay, we are going to throw down. Week 3, guys, thank you for tuning in. And uh, best of luck to me. And uh, good luck Aspirin, too, as well. It will be an interesting battle, and I'm nervous, so. I'm nervous. They ain't going to be. This is not going to be easy. Um, Gen 7 OU. Here we go, guys. Dude. I've been thinking about this battle all day, so. Good luck. Good luck. A little nervous about this. And let me say, this has been the toughest matchup all season so far. To date. No disrespect to Wolf or Aldo, but. Yeah, this girl knows how to battle. She won't make too many. Um. Too many mistakes. And here we go, okay. Dude! Oh, okay, I almost got the prediction right! This is... <laughs> I got five out of six for once. Good luck, have fun. Oh, okay, so guys, if you tune in to the team preview that I just played, you will see I was kind of hoping to see most of these guys. Um, the only difference... Who... What's... What is different about this team that... I tried predicting. Whimsicott? I did not predict, but who... I forgot who it was now. Oh. And what this means for me. I forgot who it was, to be honest. That I predicted, but... Uh, as I could see, Crookedile is a solid lead. So, Celestila. If I'm not mistaken, this is the first time she brings Steel all season. So that means I gotta keep Heatran um, in good condition. Aerodactyl. Aerodactyl, as we talked about in T Preview, I'm gonna need Heatran for that too. Heatran's gonna be very busy this week, guys, so. We gotta do our best to protect it. Get rid of the threats before it comes in, right? We gotta preserve that um, Sugar Berry for sure. Okay. I still want to lead Crocodile. Watch her lead Whimsicott and do like Pinkster Talk. Um, dude. I, regardless, my lead is going to be Crocodile, I feel. I don't see the downside to that place, so. Ugh. Frost Ice, damn it. Not good. Um, I could just knock off here. I don't have a good play for this boot. I mean, Isaiah should be safe, right? I could come in with Isaiah and... I could get Stealth Rock up now, but... Krukal's a little too, um, important. I'm not ready to give Krukal up. Because that is my Pursuit Trapper. is a good mon against Metagross, so I think I got to... 
go lead one of my park guys. I'll go lead because she could straight ice beam me. I think I gotta go Isaiah here. Oh. Spikes, oh my goodness, okay. We talked about this guys, we talked about this. We talked about this. She's laying up hazards. She's laying up hazards on me, so. She doesn't have a ground Pokemon, so I could freely launch Fusion Bolt right here. Uh, that's okay. Okay, she might want to break the ice. She's probably going to try to break it. Damn it. This is going to be tough, you guys. I feel I gotta take this hit. I can't Dragon Dance on Medical, so I feel. Uh, I think I gotta take this hit and go for Earth Power. Nice! Nice! Good shit, Carol. Good shit. My question here, guys do I wanna keep Carol alive now? Good kill, Carol. Um, do I want to keep him alive? Do I need him for anything else? And the answer I want to say is no. I don't think I need him. If anything, Kiram's weak to his team. So if I survive something here, maybe I could identify if this is a um, scarf or not. Or specs, I mean. How could I identify this? Do I go... I'm going to let Tapu Lele kill Kiram. Give me a free switch in, most likely a heat train. I think that's my game plan, guys. So, um, do I click roost or do damage? I think I do damage with high speed. That's probably bad. Oh, well, it's too early to tell. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Um, okay, you know what? We're gonna test her right now. If she switches out, nothing wants to take. Flash cannon to the face on her team. This is a good time to, um, yeah, flash cannon everything, right? Just click flash cannon. I don't see why not. Aerodactyl, please give me Aerodactyl right now, maybe. Give me Aerodactyl, maybe. What is she going to give me? Because I don't. I'm going to do a lot of damage to Lele in this small hand. Hmm. Yeah, she's thinking about this next play. The free switch in the um, Heatron really, really is nice. So. I have positioning. I want... Oh my goodness. Die, please. Oh my god! Fuck! Oh, dude, we're not in a good position at all. That was nice play on Ashley's part. Okay, it was not choice specs, it was fucking Z Psychic. Do I need Heatran? Oh my god, dude, not cool. Oh, damn. Not cool. I think I just got a sack of heat train, dude. Oh. She's expecting us to switch out to Crooked Owl. That's why I want, as much, as bad as I wanted to switch to Crooked Owl, predicting Psychic again for whatever reason. We got, nice dude, fucking Heat Tran starting us off right. Look at her. I, uh, I was thinking about it. No, she said it right now. I was trying to read the Crookedile switch. I, I told you guys I was thinking about it. Oh my god. Did we just, um... Lava Plume, right? No reason not to. Oh, I'm down on special attack. Oh my god, dude. One layer of spikes. Oh. I'm gonna have to look this up, guys. No, no, no. Not on. Not on. 
really quick. Fuck. I have to look this up. Um, spikes, new Pokemon. What does one layer of spikes do? I could come in later on Celesteela, right, guys? I'll come in later on Celesteela. I'll live, but I'll be faster. Oh, not necessarily. Bamboo waifu. We get, we're gonna do damage. Oh no, but I'm down on my special attack. What the fuck's the deal, guys? What do I do here? Um, do I just come in and try to sweep? No. I'll open. Burn? That burn's nice, dude. She's trying to predict me switching out. Which. Damn it, nice. Very nice. Do I lay stealth rock now? That hurts, um, uh, Frost Ass, Aerodactyl, Whimsicott, um, yeah, Stealth Rocket. Each seed, cool, cool. Cool, and then I switch out to something. I got Stealth Rock up. I think we, or, Heavy Stam. I am free to sub. Get the, um, give me one second, guys, give me one second. saying now's a good time to try to get Gyarados uh, KO right um Celestilo it should be okay if I Dragon Dance up a bit that was a good time there's no better time than now guys get the hashtags up hashtag sub up subs up right hashtag subs up sub up Time to get those subs going. She has a switch out, I think. Unless she brought like a uh, hidden power electric, maybe. Nice, nice. We dragon ass up until she gives me a reason not to, I believe. This is about to go south really quick if she doesn't react. You break the sub, you break the sub, how fast are you? The burn doesn't take you down. I just gotta ice fang until I die. Oh, I would have liked subbing. What the fuck? Whimsicott maybe wants to do. Um, what does Whimsicott do? Sucker Punch? Does it get prankster will o wisps will o -wisp? Um, perhaps. I don't think the... Uh, Gyarados finally worked, guys, so... No matter what my opponent wants to do, I think I just ice fan here. They'll probably... It could do prankster, um, taunt. Stop dragon dancing. It could do prankster will o wisp if it gets it. Which, um, I'm probably... It probably doesn't get that. Um... Prankster sub? I don't know. I don't know. We'll find out right now. 
and that's that. And like I told you guys in team preview, um, this is what ha this is what Moxie does. Each kill I'm getting, I'm only getting stronger. I'm becoming more of an issue for Ashley to handle. So yeah, Chris body though, Chris body. But yeah, that's it. GG. GG. Yeah, I hate to do this to you, Ashley, but I'm in it to win it. So, um, dude, thank you for the battle. Err, Acrobat just joined. What the fuck? What the fuck? Look at this guy. He just joined. <laughs> he just joined, like, five seconds after it ended and shit. You'll see in the episode. I was deciding on who, on who to put in, but I saw a perfect window. Oh, not nice, dude. I was nervous about this battle. She and I saw it, and it was good. GG. Oh, um, I was nervous and. She brought cross last. I thought she would. You could do Destiny Bond and you could lay up spikes as as you saw. And I never got the spikes off the field. They're still there, but um, she allowed me to get Stealth Rock up for free, which kind of helped, right? And uh, and this battle just for her case uh, went for the worst when she allowed my Gyarados to set up. She was in a good position. She had me scared there. Um, the way she played with my Heatran. That Z psychic move, I liked it. I liked it, dude. Um, I was not expecting that. And and uh, I believe she was at 100% full HP. And that flash cannon got her down to 3%. And that's what I'm thinking about a different mod. But yeah, I believe that top lady just... Who am I thinking of? Um, I'm sorry, it wasn't top lately, was it? Someone lived by like 3% or 3 HP. Yeah, I think it was top lately, right? She did um, Z Psychic, I believe, and then I did Flash Cannon. The posing small hands lost 97% of its health. So, yeah, she, uh, I wonder what that calc was. Maybe she was purely offensive. I... She is probably purely offensive because I feel like. I feel like my flash cannon still doesn't do enough regardless. If you put moderate bulk into Tapu Lele, it handles the flash cannon better. But, um, yeah. Interesting battle. That could have went any person's way. And, um,. Uh, I'm just happy. I'm happy that school semester is over as of today. It was a rough week for me, but this helps. This got <laughs> this put a little smile on my face. So thank you, Ash Ashley, for meeting me up. And um, yeah, guys, that Gyarados, <laughs> that Gyarados finally came through, and it's yet to die. So what is that? Um, I'll do my totals later, but. Yeah, um, Gyarados is yet to die, and you finally saw it, what I was talking about. It's only, um, right, it's only suiting that I talked about this in team preview, and you saw what Moxie does. It just becomes much more of a problem each and every kill, so. 
Um, good game. Thank you, Ashley. Thank you, anyone, for watching. And uh, just to let you guys know, I'll say it again, I'm sure, in a future video. But we are planning to, as of right now, it's week three of the league. We are going to battle week four next week. And I guess we plan to take a two-week uh, winter break. Just because we have uh, Akira Manai needs to catch up on battles. And um, Alpha Wolf Beast, I believe, after the 27th. He's going to be away. He can't join us for battles for a good two weeks. So We want to allow people to get caught up. People that are behind in their battles. and uh, We want people to get caught up. We want Alpha Wolf Beast to be ready to rejoin. I know he's having a rough season, but... You know, best way to learn is to get your ass kicked by people that have been battling longer than you have. There is no shame in that. That's how I learned. That's how I learned, my brother. Um, anyways, guys, I'm probably going to hang out. Possibly at the cave for a good hour. Just celebrate this W and uh, celebrate getting done with the damn class. And, uh, I'm going to go relieve some steam for a good hour or so. Probably play a game cool. And I'm planning to come back. I'm going to release an episode of Corrupt's Late Night Trip. So keep your eye out for that. What we're doing, because uh, uh, Pokemon Company is coming to Anaheim Convention Center this weekend. I plan to do some VGC rounds. Hopefully against Acrobat or Matt Neal in like an hour or two. So, Anyways guys, that is enough for my NGC Draft League content for tonight. Thank you, Ashley. I look forward to seeing you, homegirl, um, this weekend. Thank you so much for the battle. Thanks for waiting for me. Um, and who is it next? Really quick. Really quick, guys. Let me... Week 4. We got Kara Manai. Oh, uh, yeah. This is going to be troublesome because he has still hasn't done his week 2 against my brother, Jakers. He needs to do week 3 against... The Prince Aldo, and then he needs to do week four against me. So my boy, he's been doing some troublemaking late, uh, lately. He told me at work. That's all I'm gonna say about him. But yeah, he's been a pretty bad boy. <laughs> um, but anyways, yeah, Karam and I, dude, get your sh shit together. Um, please bang out your battles, man. You're still in week two, and we're in week three over here. So. Yeah, he does catch my videos, so whenever he sees this, cat get caught up, my brother, and stay safe. <laughs> Little troublemaker, bro. But okay, guys. Anyways, thank you for everyone watching. Thank you for Ashley for the battle. Thanks, Prince Aldo and Acrobat for tuning into the battle and watching it. And um, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until you see me again in week four, or one of my other playlist um, series. Until I battle again, guys. Peace out.